Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we will be filming yet another Raid Den haul. I am so excited because I do have a few birdhouses and Easter and spring items for you guys. This will not be a super large haul, but I still thought I would sit down and film it for you guys. I am also going to be mentioning my monthly giveaways that I will be doing over on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me over on there, then you probably haven't seen. For the rest of 2020, I'm doing monthly giveaways. So if you are interested in seeing how to enter, I will be mentioning all of the rules and all of that good stuff. And I will also be sharing with you what I will be giving away for the month of March. Before we get into the haul portion of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see what I picked up over the last few weeks, just go ahead and keep on watching. So getting this video started, we are going to start with the monthly giveaway rules and what you guys will be winning. So this is going on over on my Instagram page. It is so simple to enter, you guys. I'm not making it super hard or anything. So there will be monthly giveaways for the rest of 2020. So every single month I will announce over on my Instagram page and most likely in one of my YouTube videos what prize you guys will be winning. The rules, like I said, are very easy. All you have to do is be following me on Instagram and here on YouTube, be subscribed. And then the only other rule is that you just have to be active on my posts and my content. So liking my videos, commenting on my videos, liking my posts over on Instagram and commenting on them. But that is all of the rules for my monthly giveaways going forward. I will announce the giveaway winner over on my Instagram stories at the beginning of the new month, letting you guys know who wins. So now we're going to get on to what you guys will be winning in the giveaway. So the first thing that you'll be winning is this set of three stands from the dollar spot section in Target. These have been so hard to find this year and a lot of people want them. So I decided to go ahead and pick a set up for you guys so that one of you can have a chance at winning these. I absolutely love them so much. I've used them throughout my house. I have some in my kitchen, some up in my beauty room. I still have two left that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. But these are really nice because you can use them in a lot of areas of your house. You can also stain them or paint them. I thought about painting some of mine with like some white chalk paint. Either way, they will be cute to have, and I know a lot of you guys are wanting these, so if you haven't entered, make sure to just be active on my YouTube and my Instagram page, and at the end of the month, I will pick one of you guys to win these. And this is the other giveaway prize, so it is the Baby Honey Bunny Canister. I do have one of these already that I absolutely love. I'm not exactly sure if this one in particular was a return. I think it was just because of the sticker that was on the bottom of it. I don't believe that this baby honey bunny canister with the flat lid and the white color was released this year. I want to say just the baby pink honey bunny with the bunny head and then the bigger honey bunny I believe is what was released this year. If I'm wrong you guys can correct me in the comments down below but one of you guys will be winning this and the set of the three stands. So again, if you guys are interested, very simple, just be active with me on here and on Instagram, liking my posts, commenting on them. Very, very easy. Moving on to the next thing that I got, I actually got one of these diffusers. I actually wanted one of these for my bathroom area, my guest bathroom, or my hall bath, I should say. I have like a Ray Dunn theme going on in there, so I have the little like three-tiered little roller cart that they have that says Home Sweet Home that I keep toilet paper in and all of that good stuff. And then I have the Bless You tissue box in there as well. So I wanted to go ahead and add this to the top of the little cart that I have in there. The one that I got says Retreat, and this is the Sea Salt scent. I did want to get the Relax one, but unfortunately I am allergic to lavender, which I feel like there's a lot of scents that have lavender in it. So I didn't grab that one just because your girl is allergic. 
but this is what that one looks like very very cute I love them the next thing that I got I actually got one of these already but it had a different saying on it this was $7.99 I had the happy Easter one which I actually gave to my mom but I found the happy spring which I like a lot more I actually had this right up there on my hutch like right in the middle I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there again I may put it over on my floating shelves in my living room area I just think they're absolutely adorable and I like the happy spring a lot more so that I can keep it out pretty much until summer stuff is here. The next thing that I got is these measuring cups. One of the girls local to me actually picked these up for me so thank you so much. These were $16.99. I do have the icon measuring cups and then I also have the heart measuring cups as well from Valentine's Day. I also have, I think, red measuring cups, the red and green ones for Christmas time, which are up above my fridge right now. So this is what the measuring cups look like. I really like these. These are the LL. So it says one half, third, and quarter on here. I love these and I will definitely be changing them out every once in a while with my icon ones. I am a sucker for the icon though. So I did let you guys know that I was getting the baby heart canister, but I never showed it to you guys on video. So here is my baby heart canister. I cannot be happier to have this canister. It took me so long to sell my other heart canisters that I had. I ended up like selling them for way under retail because I just wanted them gone so bad. But I'm very happy to have them gone and then just have this one. I like the baby canisters that have the flat lid so much more. I don't really like the canisters that have like the thick chunky lid except for the ones that I have on my island area. My OG sweets and then the OG treats, the little baby one, and then my OG cookies canister. They're all like the same tops and I think they go really well together. But other than that, I really don't want any canisters that have the thicker, chunkier lid. So I'm very happy to have this. I did get it from one of the girls local to me. The next thing that I got is a birdhouse and this is from my girl Megan. I feel like I mentioned her in every single one of my videos. She is absolutely amazing and she always helps me out with getting my ISO. She went ahead and picked me up one of the blue welcome birdhouses. This birdhouse is so beautiful you guys. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Megan. I seriously appreciate it. I want to do a little display with this one and the next birdhouse that I got. You guys will see in just a second. I think the colors go really well together. This is definitely more of like a satin matte finish. I'll give you guys kind of a close up so you can see. The color is absolutely stunning. This blue, I just cannot get enough of. Very, very pretty, and it's my favorite style of birdhouse. The round birdhouses are just so freaking cute. So thank you again. I love it so, so much. And then the next birdhouse that I got, like I said, I want to do a display with both of them. It's the gray fly birdhouse. I didn't know if I wanted this one, and even when I got it, I wasn't sure about it, but once I displayed it, I thought it was really cute. I have the white fly one, and I don't know if I wanna keep that one or sell it. I definitely do not need two of the round fly birdhouses, but I think that these two colors go really well together. I don't know if it's just me, but they're the same like kind of matte satin finish as you can see, and I just think they go really well together. So maybe I'll try to figure out a display for both of them. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Yet next and last Ray Dunn item that I wanna show you guys is the Pink Nest Birdhouse. I feel like I had shown this in a past video, but I went back and looked and I didn't show it, I don't think. So if I have, I apologize, but it is the Pink Nest Birdhouse. I really like this. It is a very, very soft pink. I feel like it doesn't even pick up on camera the true color, but I love the soft pink. It's one of my favorites. I did order this from online and there really is no major flaws or glazing issues. I feel like so many people I have heard 
had just like a horrible time with these with a ton of like glazing issues and just imperfections so i'm glad for the most part mine doesn't have any like major imperfections so this is one of my favorites i have it set up on my little cabinet over there with my little dimply bunny that i absolutely love so speaking of the pale pink and baby pinks you guys know if you've been following me for a while and watch any of my decorate with me's i love the color pink everything back here is pink it's just been my favorite pretty much my whole entire life. As you guys know, these Starbucks tumblers are coming out and they have a new baby pink studded tumbler. One of the local girls to me was nice enough to grab one for me from one of the Targets locally here. I have been checking and if I can get my hands on an extra one, I will be giving one away to you guys, I promise. So I did get the studded matte light pink Starbucks tumbler. It is so beautiful, you guys. And I love the texture of it because I can just rub my hands on it all day. I don't know if it's just me, but it's so satisfying. So I'll give you guys a close up of exactly what it looks like. Hopefully the color is coming off true to color. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect pale pink color. I think in a lot of pictures it looks more coral pink, but it's definitely a pale light pink color, which is my absolute favorite thing in the world. So I have the matte black one, the rose gold one, and I think that is it. If I'm remembering right. So I just have three of them. I got rid of my bright pink one and the silver one just because I didn't really like those to be honest. Um, I really hope they release like the iridescent mermaid one again because that is like on the top of my ISO list but I'm not going to pay over $100 for that. So you guys will have to let me know if you have checked your local targets and have found the Starbucks tumbler or not. I'm still on the hunt and I call like pretty much every day to the stores by me so we shall see crossing our fingers that I find more. The official release date is the 24th of March so in a couple weeks away from now. So if I do find any more I will be giving one away to you guys. I have a lot of people to look for though so no promises on that but like I said I will try really hard to be giving one away to you guys. So that is going to complete this video. I hope that you you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below and don't forget to go follow me on instagram if you are interested in entering any of my monthly giveaways from here on out the rest of the year thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you in my next one bye stay marvelous